Today's theme is wild animals. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Eric Carl. My name is Natalie. And my name is Marin. And today's theme is wild animals. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little help from Panda Bear. Panda Bear, what do you see? And make bear sandwiches today. Now we have our supplies here, our food, and today I believe I'm going to make a panda bear and would you like to? I'm going to make the brown bear. Make the brown bear, wonderful. All right, so we have our bread here, so let's each take a piece of bread to start for the face, that sounds right. And then I'll give you the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Does that sound good? Yes. To make the brown bear's face. And I think I'm going to take the hazelnut spread, uh, but I'm going to leave most of the bread white because panda bears are white. I love peanut butter. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites. Me too. And you can use peanut butter, you can use hazelnut spread, you can use chocolate spread, whatever you have at home. Should I do a nose? How does that sound? Yeah. All right. A nose. Just like it is in the book. <laughs> yeah. He's got some big gonna, eyes and a big nose. I'm going to put lots of peanut butter yes. in mine. And ooh, should I do a little, a little, a little mouth or a big mouth? Uh, what are we thinking? A little smile. A little smile. Sounds good. He's a happy panda bear. He is a happy panda bear. Absolutely. Oh, I just want to eat this hazelnut spread out of oh, the jar. Yes. <laughs> but I won't. We're gonna use it for our crown. Smells crop. delicious. Yes. And maybe some ears too. So what are we gonna put on next on top of your peanut butter for your brown bear? Oh, I think my brown bear needs some ears and a nose. All I right. I'll use the banana. That sounds great. We have slices of banana here. Oh, that's a great ear. You're gonna use banana. I think I'll use blueberries. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll use both. Yeah. I will take some. Oh, it's oh. slippery. <laughs> it is slippery. Um, it is tasty though. Yes. All right. And so I'll gonna... also use blueberries for the eyes. So oh, I'm okay. Gonna I'm going to take my bananas right here, some ears, and then I'm going to put blueberries on top of the bananas. Can I do that? Let's see. Yeah, I can <laughs> see for my nose. Oh, it worked well. I wonder what else we could use to make eyes and ears. Make and eyes. Um, Maybe some grapes. Oh yeah. That Maybe some grapes, nice. mm -hmm. or um, little slices of something like kiwi or yeah. strawberry. I'm gonna put Maybe a little... some raspberries. Oh, raspberries! I love yes. raspberries. Okay, get a little messy, but that's all part of the process. Mm -hmm. All right. And are you gonna put a smile on yours? What do you think? Mm, yeah, I'll do a blueberry smile. All right. Sounds good. I'm gonna put some eyes on mine. More blueberries. This is delicious. And hmm, I'll make a blueberry smile too. Put a couple on there. Oh, perfect. Oh, I want to eat this right now. Yes. Ooh. I'm gonna have one extra blueberry for myself. <laughs> All right, these look wonderful. And so we have our panda bear and we have our brown bear all ready to go. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you had as much fun as we did. It's puppy time. Today, we're going to meet some wild animals including a green lion and a purple fox. From the book, The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse by Eric Carle. Do you see this lion head? I do. You see how big it is? I do. Look at its big eyes. Mm. And its big nose. It's got whiskers on the side. I bet there are big teeth in there too. Oh, probably. And what's this? His hair. What is it made of? His mane is made of paper. This paper is painted in the same style as Eric Carle. I 
thought I recognized it. Do you hear how loud it is? I'm gonna try it on. <laughs> okay. Is that the sound a lion makes? Let me try, let me try. Okay. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. That lion's very loud. <laughs> you see the big purple fox? Do you see his big, sharp teeth? Yes. Do you see his big, bushy tail? Yes. Jocelyn, you want to try to move his head? Be very gentle, okay? See how we can look all the way around? Can we maybe look down at the ground? Does he smell something? Then we can look up. Mark, you want to try to use the tail? Sure. You want to come around this side next to me? All right. It's heavier than it looks, okay? So what do tails do? They wag a little bit back and forth, right? Sometimes, sometimes if we're scared or excited, we can move the tail like that, right? So what do you guys know about foxes? They're very sneaky. They're sneaky? Where do foxes live? In the dens. In, in dens? In, the, in dens in the forest. In the forest. So not in the desert? No. Not in the jungle? No. Or the ocean? No. <laughs> hmm. Do they live in your house? No. No? No. You wouldn't have a pet fox? No. no. Even if it was purple? Mmm, tough question, right? Today, we are going to read Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carle. Panda Bear, Panda Bear, what do you see? I see a bald eagle soaring by me. Bald eagle, bald eagle, what do you see? I see a water buffalo charging by me. Water buffalo, water buffalo, what do you see? I see a spider monkey swinging by me. Spider monkey, spider monkey, what do you see? I see a green sea turtle swimming by me. Green sea turtle, Green sea turtle, what do you see? I see a macaroni penguin strutting by me. Macaroni penguin, macaroni penguin, what do you see? I see a sea lion splashing by me. Sea lion, sea lion, what do you see? I see a red wolf sneaking by me. Red wolf, red wolf, what do you see? I see a whooping crane flying by me. Whooping crane, whooping crane, what do you see? I see a black panther strolling by me. Black Panther, Black Panther, what do you see? I see a dreaming child watching over me. Dreaming child, dreaming child, what do you see? I see 
a panda bear, a bald eagle, a water buffalo, a spider monkey, a green sea turtle, a macaroni penguin, a sea lion, a red wolf, a whooping crane, and a black panther. All wild and free. That's what I see. Thank you for reading along with me today. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you had fun. See you next time.